Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, September 15th, 2024, and it's time for our Sunday reading. Let's heal the world, you guys, with our thoughts and our intentions and our actions. So let's get over to the other camera and we'll get that started. All right. So today we are going to be using the tattoo art, the tattoo tarot as our tarot card. Ooh. And we're also going to be using the Healing Waters Oracle as our clarifying card. Ooh, that's pretty washed out there. Sorry about that, you guys. It's kind of a bright day today. <laughs> All right, so let's get these cards shuffled. And as I do, I'm going to ask the angels to protect us. I'm going to ask the spirits of the land and my home to surround us. And I'm going to ask the ancestors to give us wisdom. What do we need to know, spirit, for this week? And what do we need to do to heal ourselves and heal the earth? All right. So, for the early week position, we have this card for the midweek position we have this card for the late in the week position we have this card Make sure I get that in here where you guys can see them and for the weekend, we have this card. Okay. All right, and let's get our Oracle card. I use the tarot as a clarifier. I did that first, but that's okay. All right, spirit. What do we need for the beginning of the week? All right, we have this card. For the middle of the week. Well, that one flipped over, so we're going to take that, Lady of the Lake. All right. For the end of the week, we have... Oh, <laughs> I forgot to take this card out. That's okay. All right, Spirit. For the end of the week, we have this card. And for the weekend, we have this card. All right. So let's take a look at these cards. All right. So we have the pearl alchemy, the reward at the end from grit to grace. I know that that's hard to see, you guys. It's such light colors. The pearl, alchemy, the reward at the end from grit to grace. And the clarifier that we have for that today is the nine of coins, which is like the nine of pentacles in most decks. And so between these two, the pearl, the reward, and the Nine of Coins, which is kind of a, a confirmation of your, your achievements, you know, a confirmation of your investment that you've put into something or into yourself or into your work. Um, I'm getting this feeling like uh, the reward that you've been hoping for, the reward that you've been looking for, the whether that be um, 
accolades or just being seen, you know, just being understood, that that's going to happen this week. That's going to happen towards the beginning of the week. Something that you've really hoped that people would notice um, or that you would get paid for, that's that feels like it's happening. It's coming to you. So stay in that manifest mind, that manifest the reward mind, because it is coming. It's on its way. Okay, that's the feeling I'm getting from that. And then for the midweek, we have Lady of the Lake. New beginnings. Something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. And that's kind of continuing the feel from this first card. Let's see what the clarifier is. Okay, the clarifier is the Knave of Cups. The Knave of Cups, which is like the Page of Cups in um, the regular... Uh, tarot and it's in the medicine position um, and sometimes that can be like uncertainty um, blocked creativity it can be sometimes acting childish you know so try to keep those feelings in check try to keep the selfishness the selfishness in check because something, what you're hoping for is coming. It is coming. Um, it's going to take some patience. It's going to take some uh, watching for the signs kind of thing. But it's on its way. So just stay in that manifest mind. Okay, for, for whatever this is. All right, now we're going to move on to the end of the week. And we have plunge. Don't hold back. It's time. Go for it. Dive in. Plunge. All right. And this seems to be like continuing on this theme, right? This theme of, you know, um, from grit to grace, something's about to happen. Don't hold back. Dive in when it's time. Let's see what the clarifier is for this. We have the death card. We have the death card. And, you know, the death card, I know that can feel kind of scary. But, you know, it's not necessarily death. It's base. It can be, it's just an end. It's an end to something. And I'm getting this strong feeling that it's like the end of self-doubt. The end of self-doubt. You know, you've got the power in you to manifest whatever it is that you want to have happen. You've been working clearly through this spread. You can see you've been working for it. It's coming to you. Let go of those self-doubt feelings. You know, they're just getting in the way. They're just getting in the way and they might be slowing things down. Um, something that's meant for you to have happen might be not coming to you as quickly because of all this negativity that you have towards yourself. So it's time to end that. It's time to put those feelings you know, bear, you know, put those to the side and say, no, 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 I've got the power. I've got everything that I need in me. I can do this. Okay. You know, you're putting it to death. <laughs> so, all right. And then at the end of the week, we have metamorphosis, embrace transformation. Things are now different. So continuing on with this theme throughout this whole reading, which is all just tied together, okay? At this point, you're going to have embraced what you have coming to you. Things are now different. Things are changing. Let's look at the clarifier here. The clarifier is the Three of Cups. And this is a happiness card. This is a friendship card. Um... It's a celebration card. You know, everything that you've been working hard for is going to come to fruition. You're going to feel the joy in that. And right now, even if it hasn't happened yet, you need to feel like it has. You need to be grateful to the universe about what is coming to you and start living as if it's already happened. Okay, that does bring it's, it's the law of attraction, you guys. It will bring to you exactly what you've been hoping for and working hard for. Okay, so stay in that manifest mind. It's very important. Be grateful. Be happy. Be joyful. It's coming. 
and you're going to be happy and that's going to help heal you. It's going to help heal your self-esteem, your self-worth, and then you're going to be able to move forward. A happier and different person, a metamorphosis is going to take place. Things are now different. Okay? Things are now different. So start acting like it because it's going to be wonderful. Okay? Let's go back to the other camera. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming today. I love you so much. And I will see you all on Tuesday in Katie's live for her live at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. And then I will see you in my live on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we'll just have a great week. Okay, so good things are coming, you guys. Stay in that manifest mind. I love you. And I will see you all again very soon. Okay, take care, everybody. All right, bye-bye.